Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a dish that is not Puerto Rican. This is actually a dish I learned on Facebook. A friend of mine put up a picture and, and it intrigued me so I looked for a recipe and tried it. Anyways, this is salt and vinegar chicken. It's a, a chicken that is it's slow cooked in the oven and the recipe says it all. It contains salt and vinegar, a few other things, but that's the main ingredient in there. This is a dish that to me tastes like pernil. It's like chicken pernil. Um, maybe not to other people, but to me, it is literally pernil if, pernil, if, if it was chicken, you know? Anyways, to do this recipe, you're going to need number one is time. This is going to take about two hours and 20 minutes two and a half hours give or take anyways to do this we're going to be using chicken um thighs you can use whatever part of the chicken you want we are using chicken thighs today i'm only going to make six chicken thighs because i'm cooking for my family i don't want to make too much and just you know let it sit there we're also going to be using one um either half of a large yellow onion or a white onion or one small or medium onion slice, like a medium onion sliced. We're also going to be using one and a half cups of vinegar and a quarter cup of water. We're going to use salt, we're going to use pepper, we're going to use oregano. And I always add a little bit of garlic to everything. So pretty much that is the ingredients we're going to be using. So let's just get started. Okay, so in here I have six chicken thighs that I have um, washed, and I am gonna. I have them flesh. How how am I doing this? I'm actually gonna flip them because I need them to be flesh side up right now because they're gonna end up being flesh side down. So let's just go. I'm only using tongs right now because I don't want to be washing my hands every two seconds. Anyways, salt. Salt on, on all your thighs on one side. Salt, salt. Next, we're going to do pepper. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And we're going to add oregano to this side. Now we're going to flip them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on. This one has a mine of its own. Six. Now I do have my oven preheated to... 400 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with salt on this side. I am using kosher salt. You use whatever salt you feel like using. It's up to you. So we have that. We're going to do some pepper on this side. Okay. We have salt, pepper. We're going to do some oregano on this side. So we're doing exactly the same thing on both sides. The only thing that I am adding to this side that I did not add to the other is that I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic. I'm going to actually add it to the liquid. You do not have to add this. This is just a me thing. Anyways, to this, I have a mixture of salt, I'm sorry, of vinegar and water. One and a half cups of vinegar to um, a quarter cup of water. We're going to add this not directly on top of the chicken. On the side. And we're going to finish it by topping it with our onions. Again, if you don't want to add that much onion, don't. But I am adding a lot of onion. The onions will flavor this. The onions will become super soft. So, 
and we are going to without covering and we're going to pop this into the oven at 400 degrees and set your timer for exactly one hour once the one hour is up i will show you next so the timer is on its countdown before we reach our hour And now we simply are going to take, remove our chicken. Out of the oven. At this mo moment, as you can see, my chicken is it's looking super super cute and what we're going to do is we're going to give it a flip now we're going to bring the skin side up the reason we're bringing it up is that we now all the fat out of it has been melted off now we just need to crispy up the skin so at this moment we're just going to bring this back into the oven now bringing the oven up to 425 and we're gonna set up our timer for another hour and 20 minutes. And then we simply take it out of the oven. Okay, so our mixture, it is ready. And we're about to take it out of the oven. to take a look at this chicken. This chicken is absolutely perfect. Still has some vinegar on top. We just baste it. The onions are like butter. You could you can hear that the top is nice and crunchy, but the inside is like, look at this, look at this, it is pork tender. Next week. So here you go, salt and vinegar chicken super simple it's just a set it and forget it type of dish anyways we serve this over mashed potatoes and a little um side little salad thing anyway so we um thank you for watching thank you for spending time with me this is lala here at maddie's puerto rican kitchen and more don't forget to like and subscribe share it with your friends let me know if you tried this dish God bless you and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.